This week on social media, I ask you, who are America's elites? Many of you mentioned celebrities. On Facebook, Teresa Blommer said, Hollywood. Joe Lehman posted, rock stars, sports stars, movie stars, and the idiots that want to hang out with them. Well, there are a lot of silly people in Hollywood, and idiots who want to hang out with them, but so what? They don't have real power, no power over others, and I assume most of them earn their celebrity. But I'm wrong, says this Comedy Central host. Everyone knows that Miley Cyrus, Jaden Willow Smith, and Robin Thicke were born with a platinum spoon in their spoiled mouths. But the fact is, almost every actor is riding on someone's rich and famous coattails, and you have a right to know. He then went on and on naming celebrities who had connections in the business. Kristen Stewart, Blake Lively, Daniel Radcliffe, Scott Eastwood, Jennifer Aniston, and so on. Is that unfair? Ben Shapiro is the author of Primetime Propaganda, How the Left Took Over Your TV. So Ben, is it true you cover this? Most Hollywood elites get their jobs through nepotism? Certainly many. A very high number of Hollywood elites are people who know people, and it's a very social business, and that means it's a very small social circle. If you're inside that social circle, there's a pretty good shot that you're going to have a better shot at getting a job than if you're just getting off the bus from Oklahoma, as the, as the common myth goes of how people get jobs in Hollywood. They don't get hired off the bus? They don't go to the beauty salon and get <laughs> discovered? No, I mean, uh, if only it were so, then there would be no more waitresses or baristas in Los Angeles since everybody has written a script or tried out for an audition. When you're uh, analyzing whether somebody can act or sing, whether somebody's talented or not, it's so subjective that certainly having somebody that you like in a position of power, uh, Sofia Coppola, Francis Ford Coppola comes to mind, is, is a definite benefit no matter how bad your performance in Godfather 3. Gwyneth Paltrow, whose father was a director, whose mother is actress Blythe Danner, says, no, having family in the business made it harder to succeed. People will say, oh, you know, let's have her in and come read. You know, let's see if the progeny has any of her parents' gifts. Or... But once you're in the door, you know, they look at you much more critically than they would just the normal person coming in. And I think it's a much more uphill battle. It's an uphill battle for Gwyneth. But how does she get in the door in the first place? I mean, remember, this is, there's nepotism in every industry, but the question is, how many opportunities do you get to do the audition? How many times do you get a call back? How many people look at your name on the sheet and they say, well, at least I want to see what Gwyneth Paltrow can do. The truth is that most actors wait around for their phone to ring virtually every day. Gwyneth Paltrow, I can imagine, with her dad being Bruce, uh, I, I just can't imagine that there's any situation in which she was waiting around for the phone to ring for very long. Children of elite politicians get special breaks, too. This summer, President Obama's daughter, Malia, got an internship with Lena Dunham of Girls. And Chelsea Clinton was once paid $600,000 to work as a national correspondent for NBC News. Chelsea Clinton, whose, whose main criteria for fame was that she fell out of her mother at some point. Would she have her name on a foundation if it weren't for the fact that her parents were famous? Just the, the, the kind of halo effect that, that accrues to people who are famous. We think that they're smarter than they are. We think they're more beautiful than we are. It definitely helps with this sort of thing. Finally, on social media, when I ask, who are America's elites? Stanley Leibowitz posted Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Caitlyn Jenner. They, for all of you sensible enough not to know, are members of the Kardashian family, all of them. Oprah asked them about their elite status. Do you think you're spoiled? No. But watch this clip from their TV show. Do you know how to do your own laundry? No. Do you know anything about credit? Not really. Do you know how to iron? Ben, there there's, was pride in their <laughs> elitist attitude. I think they'd be embarrassed. Yeah, there's, there's not any embarrassment because it's a sign of being a member of the upper class aristocracy. I mean, the fact you don't know how to do laundry just demonstrates how far above us you are. What's amazing is that people watch this and they feel superior to the Kardashians. The Kardashians are laughing their way all the way to the bank, and, and the fact is the Kardashians have destroyed America, more American lives than Ebola. Wait, how? What do you mean? <laughs> well, between Lamar Odom and, uh, and Caitlyn Jenner, and the, and the rest of, uh, and, 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 the, uh, and the car crash that Caitlyn Jenner was in, and the various people that have been impacted by the Kardashians in negative ways. Uh, Ebola didn't kill that many people. The Kardashians have affected a significant number of people in the United States.
But they are the elites. I see this month's Cosmopolitan calls them America's first family. Oh, it's, it's just awful. The, the, the first family nonsense, it, it really does demonstrate America should just have a royal family. The truth is that you could foresee a time when Kanye West actually runs for president of the United States and does well because sure. we've merged the political elites with the Hollywood elites. They hobnob with each other. They all hang out together. There's a reason that Lena Dunham and the Obama daughters are working together. Thank you, Ben Shapiro.